I'll tell you why, yeah, because you mentioned. Sorry, how can they fool? I'll tell you why, yeah. You mentioned one, one, one second, yeah. Uh, uh, what you mentioned is true, no doubt about that. And the reason being why Muslims still been deceived, because we keep not going back to the our sources, the Quran and the Sunnah. As long as the Muslim doesn't go back to Quran and the Sunnah, we will be humiliated. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "It will come a time when Allah will send down humiliation upon you, humiliation." Yeah? And Allah will never lift it up from you until you go back to your deen, you know? That's the problem. The problem is, like you said, the people know about the Dajjal. And you know, there's deception now. Even now, uh, you know, they're trying to even say, we're trying to discover how we can save humans from death. Yeah. They can, uh, and we, can, we can live forever. And who, who said that? Who's the first person to say that? Iblis. Iblis, he said to Adam what? Oh, yeah. That if you eat from the tree, what is it? The tree of you will live forever. So these guys that are following try to fulfill the hope and the deception of Iblis that he tried to do on our father Adam. And some Muslims fell into it. They say, yeah, maybe you never know. You may yet everyone's going to die. So my point here is all of this is before the Dajjal. What's happening now? This is science of the Dajjal, no doubt about that. So now if if if, if some of us been deceived by this minus science of uh, pre-Dajjal. What about even when the Dajjal comes? That's why you have to wake up and step back, and that's what Islam teach us. You know about the sheep mentality, you know, mashallah, because I, I spoke to you before, mashallah, you, 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 you indicate, mashallah. The sheep mentality, when you're just following something because society is doing it, and the Muslims who follow Quran and Sunnah, they are far away from it. The proof for that, the prophets and the messengers, they never had sheep mentality. They were known to go and guess their societies, not for the sake of going and guess it, no. Because why? Their society will open misguidance. Prophet Muhammad came, people were worshiping idols, burying their daughters. He didn't say, you know what? They're doing it, let's do it. You know, uh, uh, Prophet Lut, he came to people uh, to say, man, he said, they're doing it, let's do it. Prophet Musa, you know, step back and think. That's what Allah said, step back and think. The meaning of the verse that, okay, we have to step back and think, I don't have to follow everything. You know, and that's the problem, Akhi, because we turned away from the Quran and the Sunnah. We are too busy on TikTok. People are in their 50s and 60s doing silliness, Akhi. A brother sent me a video from Algeria, this old man. If our old people who we should be looking up to, they are doing this foolishness, what about our young ones? What are you going to expect? So the, the solution, Akhi, no doubt about that, for us to go back to the Quran and the Sunnah. And we love good for people. You see, that's what it makes Islam different. Like people say, you want to take over Islam? No, I want good for you. Like people say, do you want Sharia in this country? I say, what do you mean by Sharia? Like you want uh, the capital punishment? The capital punishment, this country is a, is a clever country, has its own government. But do I want Islam for this country? Yes, because I want good for them. You understand? I'm not going to deny what this country did for us or the other countries. Many people left their, 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 their countries because they had civil war and so on. They came here, but also I want to give you the best solution, which is Islam. I don't have to use force and all of that. So my point here is, Akhi, we, you are right. We keep being misguided and deceived because we're not going back to the Quran and the Sunnah. I mean, see. I mean, see, you drink it, Alhamdulillah, we got better. Alhamdulillah, you know. Alhamdulillah, you said our immune system is powerful. And Nabi Alayhi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, مَا أَنزَلَ اللَّهُ دَاءَ إِلَّا أَنزَلَهُ دَوَاءَ عَلِمَهُ مَنْ عَلِمَهُ وَجَهِلَهُ مَنْ جَهِلَهُ There is no disease except Allah sent down a cure for it. Some people might know it, some people might not know it. 